Hey YouTube, it's Dimitri, and today we're going to talk about requeening a hot hive. Uh, so all the video footage here is in the process of my requeening I did on a really aggressive hive. Um, I'll give you some tips and tricks and things I did and talk about my failures uh, and what you should avoid and what you should do. Um, but let's just dive on in. Okay, so the hive on the far right is awesome. This is my Queen Anne hive. Uh, it's slow and steady. It builds up every year. Um, have had no issues. Uh, the queen on the left is Queen Beatrice. I purchased her at the same time as my Queen Anne hive. Uh, and she's done great when I had her the first year, but the second year now has been pretty challenging. She's become more aggressive. Um, the bees will follow me up to my house, so it's hard to tell from this footage. Uh, but I live on one and a quarter acre. Uh, these bees are at the very back of my lot and they will follow me hundreds of feet up to my house. Um, you'll swat at them, you'll try to get away from them. You can run, you can dodge. Um, essentially, they just continue to follow regardless. So I was thinking about requeening. Um, I waited. I probably should have just requeened right up front, but I didn't. And then eventually, my neighbors who live next to me were mowing their yard, and the bees chased my neighbor on his mower. He didn't get stung, but as he jumped off the mower and ran to the house, his wife came out to see what was going on and she got stung in the face. And that was kind of the last straw for me as I felt really bad um, that this impacted my neighbors. Um, they were super understanding, which was awesome. Um, but that was when I had to actually do something. So what I ended up doing um, is just doing a requeening process. I went in, killed the queen, which took me some time to find her. Uh, after I killed her, I put the hive back. I waited a few days. Uh, I ordered a new queen online. She got shipped here. I put her in two days after I killed the original queen. And then I waited a few days. I think it was about two or three days. And then I just opened um, the cap so that the sugar was sticking out, figuring this would give me a few extra days. I put the hive back together. And then I waited a few more days, about two or three days, and I came back again. So queen had been in there six days, give or take. I dug through the hive and there was no queen. I couldn't find her, somewhat panicking. And so, of course, I don't know what to do. So at this point, what you need to do is you need to look and see, A, if you can find the queen. It's hard to find a queen in a big hive. Um, so what I ended up doing was just putting the whole hive back together. I waited about another week here, and then I came back and looked for signs of eggs. So if you have a queen, um, within a week she should start laying again. You should see some eggs somewhere in the hive, um, or you should see the bees are creating queen cells. If they're creating queen cells, uh, it's a sign that you no longer have a queen and that they're trying to create another queen. Um, in my case here, I only had capped brood. I came back a week later. Again, I had still some cat brood, but no signs of a new queen, no eggs. Um, so they just killed her. So my mistake here to avoid is do not take the cap off until you are sure they will accept her, which we'll talk about here in a second. But in this video, you'll see now that I have two hives on the left. So what I ended up doing is taking her hive, splitting it in half, so they have two halves that are queenless. I waited three or four more days now as new queens came in the mail, um, which are in this USPS uh, envelope here in the video. Um, I'm going to put in two queens. I put a queen, so Catherine and Diana, as I named these queens. I put one, which I believe is Catherine, in the left hive, and Diana is in the one in the middle here, so the right one. And I ended up putting them both in. But this time the key was, was to wait. So you put the queen in, you wait three or four days, you come back and you look at the behavior of the bees. Okay. I don't believe in a, a time frame of, you know, just putting the bees in, uncapping or releasing and letting Looks everything like they're putting go and hoping it all works inside out. The cage. When you have hot and aggressive hives, this is not but a good idea. They them, will like, kill her they're not biting uh, most the of the time. I and I don't really feel like wasting queen. your queens. Uh, uh, even that being said, I'm going to leave her. So what I ended up doing is putting a queen in each of these halves. So now the hives are smaller, they're less aggressive. Uh, you wait three or four days, so wait the full time. Come back, pull the frames, look at the frames, and see how they treat uh, the queen. When you have bees, so in this case I had bees that were still biting at the cage. So they wanted to kill these new queens, they didn't accept them even after three or four days. So what I ended up doing is just reboxing these hives back up. I went back inside, I waited another, probably about one or two days, came back and checked again. 
Um, and this time there were bees on the cage, but there were no bees biting at the cage, okay? Uh, so at this point, I actually just released the queens from their cages. To do this, make sure you have the queen over the boxes, okay? Because when I released my queen, I did it over the box, but I wasn't paying a lot of attention, and I thought one of my queens just went missing, like she flew away or something. I didn't see where she went. Um, luckily, she went back down into the bottom of the hive. So just to wrap this video up with some quick tips here, A, when you get a new queen and you're requeening an aggressive hive, uh, make sure that you wait the full three days, then come back and check to see how they treat the queen. If they're not treating her well, do not trust the sugar cap. I think it's a dumb idea. Um, if anything, it's good to have the sugar in there because the attending bees can feed that new queen. But in general here, it's not a good idea to open the cap and just wait until they release her. I didn't have good success with this, um, at least not with a hot hive. Um, the other tip here is if you can't find the queen here, uh, you can split the hive, for example, in two halves like this, and then you can wait and see where the queen's at. I didn't do this process because I was adamant on finding my queen, so it took me quite some time. Uh, I had my wife help me. We went through frame after frame after frame, back and forth multiple times until we found her uh, and finally killed the aggressive queen. But I have read online, you can split the two hives in half and you can come back and check. Um, if you wait long enough, so probably about a week, one will continue to have new eggs in it because there's still a queen inside. Uh, the other half will be more aggressive because they've been queenless and there should also not be any new eggs since there's no queen inside. This will reduce the amount of work you have to find the new queen. So anyways, these are kind of my tips and tricks. Nothing too exciting here, but do check the behavior. I think that was my biggest mistake here as a new beekeeper. Uh, I was very lucky that I worked with a beekeeper locally here in Texas. Uh, who raised queens, who was willing to send them pretty quick. So anyways, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, until next time.